All right, I see a smile. Yeah, Meet a Alex one. Graham, a 10-year-old energetic and curious kid. He's very happy. He's a very gentle and friendly, sweet. Uh, <laughs> he's enjoying himself right now. He's vocal. Alex is also deafblind, but does have limited hearing and vision. It all stems from Charge syndrome, a genetic disorder affecting growth and development, something his family learned of in the first few years of his life. Probably a blessing in disguise that we found things out in stages, because it would have been uh, probably a lot at once to hear it all, right? So it was, it was overwhelming. Alex spends his weekends at home with his family. During the week, though, he attends a specialized deaf-blind program at W. Ross McDonald in Brantford. When he's home, um, which I like cuddling with him because it's easy because there's no language for that, so I, he really enjoys that. He also likes baseball along with the rest of his family. And on Wednesday night, Alex will throw out the first pitch at the Blue Jays game. My dad was a huge Jays fan and he would have loved to see Alex throw the pitch. But I know he's going to be there in spirit. I'm getting emotional. I know I'm going to get emotional on game day. That big stage with thousands watching so important in raising awareness, says Kathy Prohl, equally pivotal for the families who have been a part of the journey. For the families themselves, it's a moment where their child is shining. You know, it's, it's, it, it has such an impact on the family. Prohl says while the awareness and support in this province is somewhat adequate, more work needs to be done. Quite often, um, you know, the families end up having to, to to provide that that type of support or sometimes they just aren't able to get involved like their peers are because they don't have that service. We're going to practice throw, okay? Alex has his family behind him and on Wednesday night when he takes to the mound, thousands more will be cheering him on. Devin Haru, CBC News, Toronto.